How do you call this? A uh, squeaky chicken or screaming chicken toy. I got the sound here. I can play it. Oh, yes, please do it. Yeah, the squeaky chicken sounds like this. What kind of product are we optimizing today? Uh, a squeaky chicken, screaming chicken toy. Perfect. But basically a gag gift. But it also has multi-purposes, but we can talk about that. Nice. So uh, yeah. run us through this master keyword list. All right. So first, what I did, there was a lot of different BSRs and keywords. So I used squeaky chicken, screaming kick screaming chicken toy to for the keyword to kind of get the products and then the main bsr was gags and practical joke toys but i also noticed they were in dog chew toys and kid toys so there was a bunch of different niches people were using so that's nice I- so we actually took the best competitors from different browse nodes from different yeah. bestsellers rank pages that's that's amazing that's what we suggest everyone to do so my name is David. Our guest today is Joel. Again, we are working with We Are Growth Hack, Amazon agency. We help sellers optimize their listings, translation, PPC, product launch, everything. Just check down in the description the amazing stuff that we can do for you. So let's get back into their <laughs> squeaky okay. chicken. So yeah, you got the competitor breakdown after you make the MKL. I think Pop Plays seems to be the biggest guy you'll see. Him, he's got 97% of the keywords on page one. And the other guys, they're kind of weak. They're all right, but they could definitely use some improvement. This guy right here, Novelty Place, 81% of the keywords on the first page. And everybody else is kind of 70s and below. Oh, man. Oh, so, man. So I just, I just noticed this competitor here, Lanco, with the dog. So uh, I get the point here. Guys, we have recently um, published on our, blog, on our blog a good blog post on how to make images on Amazon. And I definitely recommend you to look at that. We will put the link down in the description. So what's wrong with this image? This is a toy for a dog, right? But you're doing it in the wrong way because you have a small dog and a huge chicken that looks like a freaking dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> <laughs> looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> looks like a peacock or something like that, you know? <laughs> no, but it wasn't, it's not the peacock, the big one, the, the roadrunner. Oh, rooster. Or the roos- oh, no, he's a, damn, what is a, I forgot what he is. And it's so funny because you got the dog here that looks like Willy Coyote, and then you got the roadrunner here. <laughs> it's like a cartoon man so anyway this this doesn't really give an idea uh i mean it gives you an idea but you could have done it in a much better way so first of all you're not allowed to showcase anything that doesn't come with the package and you're not receiving a dog with this product definitely you're just receiving the squeaky chicken so you could have done it better in a different way so maybe just show the chicken in the totality of the um, of the space that you have, for example, like this other guy is doing next to him, like Arky, because they are like tilting. So it can actually show, can actually occupy a little bit more space. But anyway, we gave a lot of tips in the blog post. Go and check it out. Let's get back to our competitors. But yeah, that was pretty much the breakdown of everybody. You can see who's on the, who's got the most keywords on the front page, what they're making, price point, reviews, just the overall breakdown of them all. So yeah, that's pretty much them, top 20. Nice. Let's take a look at the keywords and then we can jump right into the final optimization. We got the master keyword list. So I added, already added the outliers, at least some of them. And then you got the first one, rubber chicken, chicken dog toy, rubber chickens, rubber chickens that squeak. But yeah. We got a nice list, nice list of keywords. How many keywords we have? I think uh, about 135. I did go through and exclude a bunch of randomness. So that's kind yeah, of so, the best. Yeah, I see 110, the, the right number up on the up, up. You get the total number of keywords. Number of keywords with 11. Oh, uh, yeah, right there. Did you exclude any keyword and did you include some outliers? Yeah, so I excluded a bunch, kind of mini, small, some 
other random keywords, Spanish, itty bitty rubber chickens, just words that weren't relevant to the current version I'm doing. And then some, I did add, uh, I think five or so outlier keywords. I think they still have them highlighted here, but yeah, I guess maybe I could add dog squeaky toys possibly. Yeah. Toys for chickens. Never heard of that one, but that's kind of the opposite. <laughs> Definitely not small plastic babies. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who was searching for that, but I guess toys for kids, it kind of comes in there. I don't, know, I, I don't know what kind of, you know, sick searches on Amazon are performed, like disturbing yeah. searches by Amazon customers. Yeah, get it. yeah, I get on that. God. <laughs> Come and talk to us. <laughs> yeah, we got you. This guy keeps searching this weird ass keyword, but yeah, that's it for the outlier keywords. Let me update it. You can go up there to the data dive tab. It'll upload on the master keyword list. So yeah, it'll go there because I have it filtered by rank juice or search volume, but yeah, nice. that's pretty much it. Nice title optimization, what we have now and what is going to be later when we add these keywords. Yeah. So here we're in the listing builder where we build our beautiful listings. So what I currently have, um, XYZ brand screaming rubber chicken toy, loud giant yellow rubber chicken toy for funny pranks, birthday party gifts, bachelor parties and gag gifts. But as you can see, I still have a lot of character room and place to improve the listing. Because you can see in the battle of the titles, I've got a ranking juice, 400,000, almost 450. It's not the best, not the worst, but it could be better. Trying to get the number one. This guy's got 831,000 rank juice. He's got 600. So yeah, definitely got room for improvement. Let's do it. So guys, this time we're not going to go through the process of identifying all the keywords. What we're going to do is we are going to search the keywords, the best keywords here using data dive. And then we're going to fast forward. We're just going to give you a quick glance of which keywords we have used and you will see them poof, like this in the title. So if you want to see more on how to do the proper research and competitive analysis and how to pick one by one the keywords, we have done a lot of videos much longer where we describe the whole process. And we also have a tutorial on how to use data dive. So go and check that out. So bear with us. In, in the blink of an eye, you're going to see the new title optimized. So what is the, we already read the title right now. So let's check later how's the new title. Nice. So we have our finalized title here. That, that looks really good. And uh, okay, so where are we standing now with the score? We just hit a million. So we just skyrocketed past number one. So we got over a million rank juice. And the highest guys got 830,000. So we're, we got, we're in the driver's seat for that number one spot pretty comfortably. Nice. We are leading the uh, chicken the chicken categories. Wow. This yeah. is so exciting, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm break my throat trying to do that. Uh, but yeah. So which keywords did you add? Can we can we compare this title, this winning title to the one that we had before? Yeah, I'd say a lot better. So as you can see, I added more keywords. I used the full 200 character space as much as I could. And as you can see highlighted here, I did giant rubber chicken toy. And then you can go on the battle of the titles and you can I think it's highlighted. I highlighted a bunch. So you can see where I had it. I think it was deep down there. Giant rubber chicken toy had a good one, 78,000. So that's a real good one you want to have in there. Mm -hmm. so going back squeaky dog toys for large dogs squeaky dog toys was a big one and then for large dogs for large dogs was like a partial so i got a broad match i'll go back and then screaming chicken toy and emotional support chicken they were all really good keywords so you got rubber chicken toy uh, let's see, yeah, dog chicken toy, screaming chicken toy. You can see they have really good rank juice. I, I really want to see this emotional support. Oh, yeah. I swear it's a real keyword. It was near the bottom, but 
please. It's a it's a unique one. Emotion. Yeah, I think I see it. Emotional support. Down, 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 down. How did I forget to highlight it? Emotional. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. I can't believe, man. It's almost like fifty thousand in score. That's amazing. Yeah. So I guess if you're stressed, you just squeeze that chicken and <laughs> <laughs> squeeze that chicken. Yeah. Let it all out. But yeah. But yeah, it's a good one. As you can see, <laughs> it gets you there. Amazing. So. Well, how, how was the title before? Let's just compare it quickly. Now we have 198 oh, yeah. characters. So we have 198 characters now. We we used a lot of good and relevant keywords. What we had before was around 144 characters. It yeah. was it was an okay title, just with you know some features here and there, some some keywords, but we definitely added a lot more. So you can see the difference between that yeah. and the new one that is the winning title among all the competitors. Nice. Let's uh, move uh, to the bullets. Oh, okay. All right. We're at the bullets. So, yeah, I can break them down real quick. I kind of <laughs> <laughs> squeak your way to happiness. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right. We got us cracking up. It's a funny, funny product. But yeah, squeak your way to happiness. So, you saw in the title, you can use it for a stress relief, the little squeaky chicken. So I said, screaming chicken toy, perfect for stress buster, providing endless laughter, as you see, and entertainment, kids, adults. So, I mean, it's for everybody. So, yeah, squeak and you will. And I just added, you can have a comical sound that'll bring smiles to everyone's faces. And then I'll break it down. Second one, kind of continuing on, endless fun for all. So it's kind of for everybody. So pranking your friends, backyard games, kids, beach games, adults, even dog chew toys. So, I mean, everybody's happy. Even grumpy grandpa, he will even like this one. Can't be mad at the screaming chicken. Nice. But, yeah. And then kind of breaking down what it's made of. Safe and environment friendly. So it's safe for your kids, safe for your dog to chew on, kind of safe for everybody no non-toxic materials. And then I broke down for the fourth one, a little more kind of focused on for the pets. So, cause it was a big niche. Like a lot of people were selling towards dogs and whatnot for chew toys. So perfect yeah. dog and safe your dog, all that good stuff. And then a unique and memorable gift. So I think it's a funny, cool gag gift, give to your friends or bachelor party or just kind of anybody, any holiday yeah. special occasion. So yeah. So the, what we have here is five bullets that are already good. We have some good keywords already. We are hitting more than half a million. But how are we stacking against our competitors? Let me check. So 590, not too bad. But I think one guy's, yeah, he's got 800. Oh. And so these, there's a few. Yeah, there's about three or four. They are definitely using data dive or some good optimization tool because the because we can see that they're hitting a lot of good keywords. So guys, once again here, so this is the score that we have right now, 590. If you can go back to the listing builder. We're going to once again add some more keywords to hit at least 1 million because we want to be number one. And then once again, in the squeak of a chicken, we will be back and you will see the new optimized bullets. Let's do this. Nice. So fast forward. In the blink of an eye, or as we say, in the squeak of a chicken, in this case, we have some nice, good-looking, optimized bullets using pretty much all the space that we have. So which keywords did, did, did we just add, Joe? I added chicken toys for kids, rubber chicken, dog toy, squeak. That was a really good one. Squeeze chicken toy, and then rubber chicken toy for dogs. So that was kind of the ones that I left out that still had a good rank juice and they took us past a million. So nice. Can we can we see those keywords in the battle of the bullets? Like how relevant, how good they are? Yeah. And, so uh, and how many of our competitors are actually using them? So let's start this one. I just added squeeze chicken toy. I have exact one guy has it broad, none, none. They either have it broad or not at all. One guy's got it exact. So as you can see, which, which one is this guy? I think it's one of the best one, right? This guy who's got it exactly like we do. 
Yeah, let me. Who is it? Blown up P is. Oh, no, it doesn't look like has to be has so many. Oh, no, okay. They just got lucky with this. Search yeah. Term. yeah, you didn't even know. <laughs> but yeah. If we zoom out, can we zoom out in this page? Oh, yeah. Let's see what most of our competitors are using. So it looks like we have an area here. Yep. A lot of competitors are using exact plural for chickens. And then chicken toys. Yes. And it looks like, yeah, then we have some aggregated use of rubber chicken. We yeah. are also using it exact. That's good. So it looks like we are pretty much online with what our competitors are using. And we're also using some extra keywords. That's why we could get the highest score. For example, one keyword that we're using exact, but no one else is using is this squeaking chicken toys. Can you zoom in again? Yes. The row 36, squeaking chicken toy. Yeah. We didn't highlight it because we already use it in the title, but we can just make it easier. Yeah, highlight right now. We are using it and no one of our competitors is using it. And now also what we can notice is that the keywords up right above this, one competitor only is using it Excel. We are not using emotional support chicken. Not in the bullets. Yeah, only in the then title. We, then we should, because that's a good keyword. Let's add this keyword and then we're done. Yeah, I can add it. Still got room. So you go back. Bam, now it looks really good. Uh, we have even more, even a higher score than before, right? Yeah, should have. <clears throat> And we made sure that we're using every keyword that also our competitors are using. So we wouldn't be left behind when it comes to rank for some, some particular searches. So this is really good. So this was a good optimization. Would you mind like sparing one minute for the description, one minute for the search terms? Yeah, for sure. So basically description just extended of the bullet points. So you can see I have a title, a little more in depth what it's used for, stress relief, then versatile for fun, safe, environment friendly. I use product features and then kind of what you get. But I could also optimize this even more, but I got a million score. So that's pretty much for the description. You can always have way more room to improve in the description, way more characters. And then, yeah, for search, ter search terms, these are them. I kind of, I take them from the big master keyword list and I trim them down and try to have a good balance. Not too many repetitions, but the top search volume gives yeah. you the high juice. Yeah. So. Guys, when Amazon says do not repeat the same keyword on the search terms, uh, it's meant don't repeat the same exact keyword, the same match. So yeah. it's okay if you repeat chicken, for example, in the search terms. It, it is not the end of the word. It actually helps you to hit exact different keywords in exact match and other keywords in broad match. So that's also okay. That's good. Guys, if you want to have any suggestion on how to optimize your listings, if you want to, you know, have us help you to optimize your listings because it, there's a lot of work to do here. I mean, we are really compressing all the juice here and giving you the, 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 the quick tips on how to do it, but it takes a lot of work. It takes, you know, knowing the tool, knowing Amazon, knowing the ranks. So we're here to help you get in touch with us in any language across any marketplace on Amazon. So, Joel, this was really good. Thank you so much for doing this. For having me again. <laughs> <laughs> nice product. Now we learn that chicken toys are also used as an emotional support. So thank you, Joel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Later.